Well, uh, let me start uh, with, uh, I have a few questions for uh, all the panelists. But start with the first one. In Xi Jinping's uh, presentation, you mentioned about the DNA, uh, you know, elements uh, in your artwork, uh, which had four elements, grew up during the Cultural Revolution, and uh, immersed in Chinese tradition and uh, Chinese culture. And uh, certainly that uh, your, your stay in the United States also influenced you with the Western culture. And finally, the rise of commercialism as a result of market reform. Now, uh, these are uh, uh, the elements, I think, that uh, really uh, integrate together, make uh, your generation, our generation of the Chinese artists unique. My question is whether uh, you should treat, uh, in your view, do you want to, do you think these, uh, these four elements more or less carry the same weight, or there's any one particular element among these four really shaped your artwork? So that's my question for both of, both of you.接下来李教授的这个问题哈，呃，主要还是就是说在说这个这些文化的DNA就是哪一个更它之间的关系？对，很关键，是不是有一个对你的影响要大于其他的，或者是他们是不能够这个问题，也许是很愚蠢的问题
。但是为什么我们身上仍然具有这种东西？我是想说呢，就是说，中国传统文化确实有一个特性，它这个特性就在于，它其实并不是由文字所记载的一个文化形态。而更多的这个文化的一个很很核心的一个生命力，它其实是通过我们和上一代人之间的接触，以及这一代人的说话的方式，以及他们处理事情的方式，甚至他们的这个说话的语气和节奏，以及我们的中国的写字的方式，这些东西都让我们。身上就是深深的，就是带着这样的一种文化的基因。这个基因呢，真是非常的顽固和这个呃有效。并不是说有效，就是说它发挥作用。Um, so, although the Cultural Revolution and the Socialist period uh, presents a fault line in Chinese traditional culture,、uh, there is one unique characteristic that makes Chinese traditional culture stick,、uh, because it is not documented by words or by language, but rather it is、uh, recorded through our interactions with our previous generations,、uh, through the way that they talked, the tone, the tempo of their speeches, and this has resulted in the traditional culture's DNA to be very stubborn and to be very effective. 其实任何文化基因其实都带有优质和弊病的部分，就看你怎么样使用，以及它的弊病的部分呢，也可以作为我们思维的一个内容。Uh, in fact, any cultural DNA has its positive and negative sides.、Uh, it, it's all a matter of how do we put them to use, and even the negative elements、uh, can be turned into positives. 总而言之呢，这个传统文化必须被激活，才能生效。Uh, to sum up,、uh, traditional culture must be activated in order for it to be effective. Thank you. Time is up. You want to speak? No, no, it's for you. Uh, I have no connection with Xi Jinping, but my feeling is this. For me, it seems like all of them have been living under the same umbrella. I have not rehearsed this with Mr. Xu Bing, but I actually share the exact same feeling, which is I feel that I have lived through several lifetimes. 嗯，这就是因为中国啊，这个变化太大，中国和世界的关系啊，也发生不同时代的啊一种变化。And this is a result of the drastic changes that China has experienced, as well as its relationship、uh, with the world that's also constantly changing. 应该说啊，从一九八零年代以来啊，这个中国和西方的这个艺术的啊这种关系啊，啊，就是两股。叫做直接较量的、矛盾的、纠结的，也是相互的、这个激荡的一种力量，那两种的力量。Since the 1980s, it's fair to say that、uh, the forces of Chinese art and Western art、uh, have been in, characterized by two forces.、Uh, one is、uh, one that's characterized by contrast, competition,、uh, and the second is mutual inspiration. 呃，因为西方的现代主义啊。从一九八零年代初，呃，可以说进入中国啊。我想举的例子就是一九八一年来自波士顿的啊，这个艺术藏品呢、啊，在中国的上海、北京几个地方展出，可以说是让中国艺术家第一次看到了西方现代主义的原作。Um, so the Western contemporary art was first introduced to China in, 19, in the 1980s, in the early 1980s. And in 1981,、uh, an art collection, art exhibition from Boston, was displayed in Shanghai and Beijing, and that was the、um, inception of、uh, West, Western contemporary art in China. Ah, 当然到了一九八六年吧，这个老沈博的一个大型的个展在北京的展出啊，更是让人看到了。艺术原来可以是这样，这样一种问题。And in 1986, a large-scale exhibition from Luxembourg was displayed in Beijing, and this opened people's eyes and、uh, made them、uh, see a new、uh, form, a new world of contemporary art. 所以我是搞这个艺术，这个历史研究和评，呃，这个评论的。所以严格来说，有段时间啊，都我对西方艺术的理论。啊，他们的一些概念、术语，呃，讨论的一些关键词、焦点的兴趣，远远超过对中国艺术的关注。So as someone who studies art history and as an art critic,、um, I placed far more emphasis back then 
on uh, contemplating and uh, studying the terminologies, the focus points of Western art than my focus on Chinese art. Um, so the lexicon within the Chinese art community is actually heavily influenced by Western contemporary art. Uh, and such lexicon uh, overshadows China's own uh, language, China's own uh, way of, uh, of, uh, of uh, crit critiquing art and China's own perception in art. Mutin 形成一种新的力量 So to answer Dr. Li's uh, question among the several elements that he mentioned although my colleague Mr. Xu Bing thinks that traditional culture plays a more important role to me from a theoretical perspective from a perspective research I think that the international art community has played an important role in Chinese art it's important for Chinese artists to uh, get into discussions um, and conversations with international artists and try to form a consensus of how we can use the Chinese way to adopt the Chinese voice in international art. So to a certain extent, globalization offers China new opportunities uh, and it has made China and the rest of the world to be at the same uh, starting point. So I think it is of great value for artists to remember their artistic, their cultural DNAs and make them effective. I think this is uh, very valuable. Well, thank you so much, uh, President Fang. I will go back to you and also to Jan. The um, next question is for uh, uh, Xu Bing. Uh, last weekend, I visited the legendary uh, American architect, uh, Philip Johnson. It's a famous uh, glass house. Have you been there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in Connecticut, uh, near New York. And uh, when the tour guide said that uh, this is a place where art and architect converge, and I cannot help but thinking of your work, Xi Bing's work, which is celebrated for blending painting and calligraphy, images and word, tradition and modernity, and the paint word and artwork. Your work is uh, uh, contemporarily reflecting the avant-garde movement, yet distinctively Chinese or traditional, as you just said. Now, I have two questions for you. First, did you develop this fascinating new style uh, through a gradual process, or was it the result of sudden artistic impulse? This is my first question. The second question, uh, English speakers often misperceive your creation of fake Chinese characters as being authentic Chinese words. This is what we can see from all these things. Is this reflective of other misperceptions that can arise between cultures and across national borders, a phenomenon that continue to plague U.S.-China relations? So I'm, happy that, I'm very happy that you mentioned about the world politics in your presentation. So I want to ask you that question as well. So these are my two questions for Xi Jinping. Thank you, Li Tong, for this question. Actually, you asked a question about how 
，你突然之间积累起来，是的，慢慢积累起来，还是突然之间有一个灵感？嗯，呃，我想呃先回答这个问题呢，呃，实际上呢，这个艺术家的创造灵感哈、啊，它反映出来是临时的，就是比如说背后的故事，呃，我是我是这个。实际上，在我当时在这个 American Academy 在德国在在住，所以呢，我在那儿就是制作一个新的作品，所以我就很希望用这个二战的历史和这个博物馆的历史制作作品。So to answer your question, Dr. Lee, in terms of whether my work、uh, has been a gradual creative process or a result of sudden impulse,、uh, I think to artists. Uh, their inspirations may reflect as being impulsive or as being spontaneous.、Um, but for example,、uh, the background stories that I displayed earlier,、uh, this was when I was、uh, at the American Academy in Germany. I had an idea of creating、uh, artworks with、um, ways that that are from the、uh, World War Two. 但呃，这个这个博物馆呢有一个特殊的历史，就是二战的时候呢，他们丢失了有百分之九十左右。或者八十五或者九十五的作品被苏联红军给拿走了啊，所以我觉得这个历史非常有意思。呃，我就很想，其实是有这种表达，但是具体怎么样表达这个东西我不知道。可是当时呢，我后来就去了，有事情去了西班牙，在转机的时候，在机场呢，看到这个办公室的这个毛玻璃的后面有一个盆栽，这个盆栽呢，让我看到了一个很像中国画的一个景象。So、uh, that museum is actually very interesting because、uh, 85 to even 95 percent of the collection was actually taken away after the war, after、uh, World War II by the Soviet、uh, Red Army, and、uh, I was wondering if there's a way to express my feelings、uh, through artwork, but I didn't know how until I was at a,、uh, an airport in Spain、uh, later that year and I saw、um, uh, penzai, I saw plants that were behind a milky glass、uh, from an office. 所以呢，这个博物馆呢是以这个亚洲艺术为主的啊，他们有很多大的玻璃展柜。所以呢，当我看到这个时候呢，我其实想到了这些丢失的亚洲的绘画，以及这些特殊的玻璃展柜，呃，再加上这个这个盆栽在玻璃的后面，所以他让我想到用这样的手法来复制这些绘画，就像这些绘画曾经在这出现过，但是呢，他们的影子。So all of these experiences, the stolen art, the missing art, the、uh, the glasses, the、uh, plant behind milky glasses,、uh, have inspired a vision, which is you know I think that some of these art can reappear,、uh, or their souls, their shadows can reappear、uh, behind glasses. I think this, uh, this kind of vision, I think I've seen before. 但是为什么这个时候却成为灵感？呃，我觉得是和我当时的思维上的紧张度，和我强烈的要说的一件事情发生关系。Of course,、uh, we have all seen these elements before, but why at that time、uh, I was struck by that inspiration? I think it's related to、um, the tension of my ideas、uh, at that time and my desire to express what I've seen in Germany. Okay. Yeah. My second question,、uh, in line with this, is、uh, about: uh, 是不是就是您这个文字 created 的这个 Chinese character？ 实际上，啊，美国人看上去，或者 English speaking 的那个读者看上去是一个中文，但实际上它是英文。是不是也反映出美中两国有时候你认为这是美国人的想法，但实际上是不？不是美国人的想法，你认为这是中国人的想法，但实际上是美国人的想法，是不是有这种相通之处？是不是在你在 create 这个、这个、这个整个的这个你的 art 的 most 你的天书或者或者其他一些作品当中，有这样一种想法？是不是有相通之处在这些文字上面？呃，实际上呢，就是我总是认为，就是说这个艺术创造呢和你的。所生活的环境和你所面对的问题直接发生关系啊！我想，如果我没有在美国生活，我不会创造这个英文方块字这个作品，因为对我不构成一个问题。Um, to answer your second question, I think to me, 
um, the creative process or art uh, is has always have a direct relationship with your experiences with the world. So I wouldn't have created the English Chinese character characters uh, if I hadn't lived in the United States. So this work, this artwork reflects a direct uh, issue that I faced at that time. So on the surface, uh, these artworks reflect the differences or relationship between East and West, but in fact, it represents my reflections on the limitations of people's imagination and people's uh, thoughts. Many of my works, uh, I've been, been interested in the boundaries of different concepts or the blurry areas between different concepts. So, uh, knowledge has told us the concept of Chinese, and knowledge at the same time uh, has told us the concept of what it means to be English. But when faced with such a, an artwork, our old concepts, our old knowledge, uh, cease to function. So the differences between the East and the West uh, is a reflection or is a testing ground for people's limitations in terms of understanding the differences between different cultures. Thank you. I still want to do, have an audience question. Before that, uh, let me ask two quick questions for uh, uh, President Fan and also for Jen. Um, Jen, you said uh, you refer to the misunderstandings, misperception of Chinese art. I fully agree with you that uh, there's a, a, a prevailing uh, in, uh, perception in the West. Chinese artists are either pro-government or anti-government. This kind of mindset, you know, as a Chinese American, I particularly feel offended by this kind of way of thinking. But that has been quite prominent in the West, especially in the United States. And uh, my question first for uh, President Tsai is, probably more than anyone uh, in China, you really uh, introduced Chinese art to the West, contemporary art. Now, in your view, what are the prevailing misperceptions in the West about Chinese avant-garde artists? Now, the next question is for Jen. Uh, American uh, scholar uh, Joseph Nye used the term soft power. And uh, he particularly emphasized American advantage in terms of soft power. But your presentation uh, really uh, tells us we really should look at a very, very dynamic Chinese avant-garde artist. I mean, if we talk about 80s, they learn from the West, but now they move to the frontier of the art world. You look at the, 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 the commercial term, probably Chinese artists dominated the top 100, you know, the, the commercial market. That certainly may not be the, the, the most important criteria, but at least tell us the very dynamic area is represented by two artists with us. But what's wrong with the Chinese soft power? Because uh, uh, this should, uh, Chinese artists may need, need to find a better strategy to present their art piece, or because our pre we, Americans, really better become inward-looking, deny the fascinating changes in the art world, and etc. So these are the two Questions for our two panelists. First, President Tan. Yeah,我想呢，我做了一部分这个展览策划和主持的工作。其实，在某种意义上说，我也把整个展览当做一件我的作品。呃，希望呢，它能够营造一个大家来参与文化对话的一个现场。
I have done a lot of work in exhibition, curation, planning, and organizing. Um, so, but I've also seen these works, these uh, exhibitions, uh, as my own work. I was trying to, I've been trying to create um, a field or a scene for cultural participation. Uh, uh, the misperception uh, among cultures has been an ancient phenomenon and has always been there. Uh, with the development of information technology, it appears that we're getting a lot more information or a lot of uh, knowledge, but um, the misperception is deeply rooted um, in our interactions with different cultures. 当然这种文化误读我觉得可能跟两个方面的原因一个方面是可能在文化上还有一些盲点就大家彼此没有看到的第二个呢还有一些属于这个偏见啊就是带着一些历史性的惯性啊来看待今天的一种文化的这个相关
where he's created a Chinese, from his Chinese DNA, he's created a Chinese landscape. But he very openly puts his model next to this landscape. His model is a drawing by Raphael of horses and religious figures uh, in an architectural setting. But for him, it became landscape. Now, we in the West are more willing to accept that because there's a Western mm -hmm. reference. It's this, what it is, is a comfort level. Mm -hmm. So I think America is trying to get itself ready for Chinese art, but when there's no direct connection to our own tradition, mm -hmm. people are nervous. Yeah. So it's just like when you put an artwork on a wall, as a museum curator, you know you need to put up a label. If people can read a little bit about it, then they're relaxed, then they look. You don't put a label on it, they go into the room, they panic, they leave. Of course, not everyone, <laughs> but there is, there is something. So I think we're trying, we're getting there, but it's a slow process. We have to get people more comfortable with looking at what they're not familiar with. Thank you so much. Now, uh, I want to take uh, maybe one or two rounds of questions. And first, identify yourself and also limit your question for one. And also, if you want to address particular panelists, just uh, please say so. Uh, the gentleman. Th thank you. Both presentations, or th uh, all three presentations. You, you have to identify yourself, please. Garth Trinkle, Washington, D.C., in Berkeley, California. My question is for Xu um, Bing. You, you spoke very uh, movingly about at the American the Academy in, in Berlin and uh, becoming aware of art that had been taken by the Soviets away. Um, you spoke about learning about American and Western art in 1980. But the, the works you've shown are, are extremely sensitive, extremely thoughtful, but I don't get the, the social realism or the radicalness that would come through if you had perhaps used a little bit of the social realist content of the what you experienced in Berlin of seeing art taken taken away. Um, do you think your experience of in, in Berlin of the German art taken to the so Soviet the museums of the Soviet Union? Do you, do you believe that perhaps it will come through in subsequent works that you will be doing. Thank, thank you. We will, we will hold, we will hold a, a, a few more questions. Yes, uh, the lady with the pink shirt. You, yeah.三位好,我叫汪佳佳,现在在那个哈佛大学念博物馆研究和艺术史及博物馆研究 呃，以及今年国家中国国家画院在也在巴黎举行了一场，就是刚刚举行了一场这个展览，呃，也是关于中国水墨的。然后我的感觉是在巴黎的这个呃，关于中国当代水墨的展览，或者中国传统水墨的
introducing everything. And I want to say praise to the translator. He's done an absolutely fantastic job. <laughs> they always get forgotten. Anyway, uh, to both of the artists, I first started working in China through the Australia China Society in 1973. So a long time seeing the change in China like you've gone through. What, what would be the two most impactful times or uh, cultural changes that you've seen in China that now is being reflected in the art that helps the West to understand all of the transition over these last 40 years that China has gone through? And that's for both of the artists. Okay, good. We just have, yeah, three questions. um, so to answer the question from the first gentleman, um, I'm struggling to capture the, the essence of this question because that museum in Germany uh, was exhibiting, uh, most, uh, most of the exhibits are from East Asia or East Asian uh, artworks. So in that context, I didn't interact directly with the social realism and the radicalism at that time in Germany. But such relationships, of course, can be a um, can be an indirect relationship. 因为我们在接受艺术教育的时候，呃，实际上呢，这个德国的现实主义，呃，以及这个世界上的世，呃，现实主义的创作的传统，其实对我们的艺术有深远的影响。Because in fact, when we received our art education, realism in Germany and uh, the realism tradition has profound influence on our own backgrounds and education. 嗯，这个作用呢，不是说。我们要画现实主义风格的作品，对我来说，而是这个艺术和现实生活之间的关系，呃，或者说艺术来源于社会生活的现场，这个思想呢，呃，对我来说是非常重要的。So although realism may not reflect directly in uh, my artwork. Uh, the relationship between art and reality and the fact that art originates from uh, the society is very important to me. Uh, so I will first answer the question from uh, someone who's from actually from my hometown. So the Chinese uh, ink wash painting is actually an art form that's very uh, systematic in the world. Um, and it's unique not because of the objects that uh, uh, Ingwash painting is trying to portray, but rather it's the tools that are used, uh, which has enabled a direct connection between the um, characteristics of the uh, artwork and the artist's own sensitivity and his or her own psychology. Uh, 
中国的影响或者东方的影响，啊，但是我们也可以呃找到一点点例子啊，认为中国的水墨艺术对一些西方的画家啊也有些启发和影响。Uh, we have talked a lot about the influence of Western art on Chinese or on Eastern art, but we can also trace uh, several hints um, that evidences the impact of ink wash painting on the Western art. Uh, 这个国际公众啊，包括西方公众能够理解，我觉得就在于策划中的对艺术作品的选择，不能仅仅是选择那种封闭性的自己直线继承的那种作品，而应该选择他们表达了今天大家这个时代的共同的感受，也包括把水墨的语言当做一种新的视觉方法。So, as my as my friend Jan pointed out, it is important in the exhibition or in the museum world、uh, for different、uh, cultures to cross-reference. And I think that the same goes with、uh, ink wash painting in China. So, if you are only adopting a kind of a closed mindset, adopting a linear inheritance of tradition,、uh, that is not going to resonate with the Western audience. But rather, we should、uh, look for or we should select in these exhibitions. Uh, artworks that are able to resonate with the audience and are able to identify common languages. The third question. Anyone want to come in? The third question. Of course, I think that the friends of Australia have asked a very difficult question. I think the question from the gentleman,、uh, the third question, is actually a very difficult to answer. I think that for the Chinese audience, there is a very strong desire to have a very strong relationship. 需要和世界交往啊，在视觉艺术上，大概我们要两类展览，讨论两个问题。So、I think in terms of、uh, how Chinese culture, Chinese exhibitions can communicate with the rest of the world, we need to consider two、uh, issues. 嗯，一个是如何通过啊一个大型的展览来讨论中国艺术的现代性问题。这像是个在社会学乃至哲学，包括文学上经常讨论的啊，关于“莫丹内图”这个词，这个这个概念，我觉得在艺术上，呃，还讨论的不够。Uh, the first issue of consideration is how to, through a large-scale exhibition, display the modern the modernity of Chinese art. I think this hasn't been done enough, and it's worth discussion. 呃、uh, ，甚至这一块，中国艺术在二十世纪。中国经历了战争，经历经历过呃革命，然后也呃在一个这个艰难的一个建设的过程中，他的艺术有没有他自身根据中国社会所生发的啊这样一种现代性，可能在世界的这这个国际的学界啊，呃可以说这块是啊疏忽的，也会忽视。And also, since during the 20th century, China has gone through wars and revolutions,、uh, the academia might have neglected whether,、uh, throughout this experience, China has developed its own unique modernity in art. Then, the second thing I think is to look at the modern art exhibition and talk about if there is a modern aspect. This is what we all have in common. So I think you know the second issue indeed is、um, how is whether we can through exhibitions and art exchanges、um, explore or discuss the modernity of art of Chinese art, contemporary, contem contemporary、uh, nature of Chinese art. Any addition comment or just pass? I just like to say that art, the best art, is able to transcend cultural boundaries. And I'm going to open an exhibition in September that is a Mark Rothko painting next to a 15th-century Chinese red glazed ceramic, simply with the idea that art objects can have dialogues with each other, and we can have dialogues with art objects. And I think what Fan Dian is talking about is that China has created its own contemporary visual language. And the best of those artists actually are able to communicate internationally. The slightly lesser level can communicate nationally, but the really transcendent ones, it becomes an international language. 
Now, I wanted to end in five to uh, seven minutes. So last couple of questions. Anyone? Uh, in the, the, the lady in the middle, yeah. Yeah, 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 in the middle. Can you go? In the middle, here. Yeah. The white toes with white toes. Okay, yeah, why don't you stand? Why don't you stand? Here. Yeah. Okay, yes, you waited so patiently. Yeah. So, Lu Jiayi from West Time Media. Uh, my question is uh, for President Fan. Uh, so, do you think the Western <coughs> world is mani manipulating Chinese art market? And well, how do you see the future of Chinese art market? Okay, good question. Uh, probably we don't have time to any, any more questions. I apologize. So, last question for you. What? Uh, 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 呃，我不能完全赞，不能赞同用呃操纵这个词来谈论西方与中国艺术市场市场的关系。I don't have a lot of information on this subject, but I also don't think that I can agree to describe the relationship between the West and the Chinese market as the West is manipulating Chinese market. 呃，我觉得我们可以共同讨论的是说，呃，市场啊是跟资本有关系的。of course, uh, the market is related with capital, and we can have a discussion on the value and effectiveness or the role of capital in our market. Uh, 那同樣在中國自己啊,也有非常熱烈的這個民間的個人的收藏,相當一部分也聚焦在當代藝術。And of course there has been a lot of international auctions, in the international auction market, um, when Chinese artworks have been offered very high prices, and in, within Chinese society there are a lot of um, folk collections, and uh, uh, that's also a very vibrant market. 當然現在我們從理論上提出來要緊貼的是藝術的 他的艺术家的这个创作啊，不要跟着市场的风向啊，这个追随啊，这个追着走。Of course, in theory, uh, we like to say that artists should not follow the wind of the market. 就是说，不要为市场打工。Don't work for the market. 呃，但是说优秀的艺术家，他总是用自己的真正、真真诚的在进行创作，最后获得市场的承认，也包括取得市场的价值。Great artists always create with sincerity and eventually gain recognition uh, and value from the market. Sure. Well, this has been an intellectual and artistic feast. And uh, the images, ideas, and the perspectives shared by our panelists have enriched our understanding of Chinese contemporary art, its vitality, diversity, and the role of diplomacy. Chinese culture and the artist scene or creation are at the heart of China's art scene. But the Chinese contemporary art also reaches beyond these subjects and tries to identify and comment on something much greater, much bigger. Now I'd like to conclude with a quote by President John Kennedy who said at the peak of the Cold War, I quote, I'm certain that after the dust of centuries has passed over our cities, we too will be remembered, not for victories or defeats of, in battle or in politics, but for our contributions to the human spirit. The work of Xu Jinping and, uh, 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 Xu Bing's and also Fan Lian's reflects this human spirit, its ability to imagine and uh, build new creations. It's a constant search for uh, peace and dignity. It's a critic of all kinds of absurdities. And it's a call for international dialogue and global thinking. In honor of this human spirit, I would like to ask the audience to join me in thanking Xi Jinping 
Han Di An, Chen Stewart, and also our interpreter. I mean, he is a, an interpreter for President Jimmy Carter, for those of you who do not know him, for this wonderfully, I mean, wonderfully stimulating discussion. Thank you so much. Thank you.